So at Royal Enfield, we try not to do too much. We try and do a few things, but we want to do them exceptionally well. We're not about super fast motorcycles. We're not about heavy cruisers. We're not about a lot of things. We're about simple, old school, great fun motorcycles. And for us, this new project, the 650 Twin, has been an absolute dream for, for years, maybe even over a decade. I think what it ushers in is a new rallying cry of what Royal Enfield will be in the future, which is going to be uh, uh, the next generation. So these are Royal Enfield's first twin cylinder motorcycles in a very long time. The GT 650 Twin and the Interceptor 650 Twin that has you know, true highway capability, exciting handling. So we wanted to create something that was agile and nimble and quick steering and, and, and have fun on. You know, they feel really fun. They're really great fun to throw around. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult question to answer from an engineering perspective. <laughs> trying to interpret what product strategies see as fun, then that is, that is quite a big challenge because it's an all-encompassing word. You know, this is, this is a, a bit of a first for Royal Enfield as a, as a company and it has to have that Royal Enfield character be a little bit different. So the Interceptor has a more upright ride position. It's more like a roadster style. And the GT is, is an authentic cafe racer, so it's got kind of that more tucked in and leaned over uh, riding position. Yeah, so we put a lot of time and energy in making sure that this is a very accessible motorcycle. It's a step change, isn't it, in terms of performance for Royal Enfields in the modern era. And we need to make sure that we, we give them that level of performance, but it's, but it's not too intimidating and it's approachable. These bikes have to work all around the world in, in every market, so. The, the way somebody rides a motorcycle in the UK and India is very, very different. For me, the development of uh, the twins has been truly been cross-cultural, cross-skill, a truly global endeavour. We've got people from Japan, from Europe, we've got experts from around the world who are working at Royal Enfield now. And there's a frequent data sharing which happens on almost daily basis. We take all those inputs and have to try and create all that into, into one single motorcycle. We've had an extended development program for these motorcycles. It's been a big project and uh, it's gone through many, many stages. They're, they are iterative changes that you go through step by step. The bike becomes more production representative. I think the biggest challenge for us was, was developing the motorcycle to, to meet the performance and quality levels that we wanted to achieve. The way we've tested all through the validation process. We've torture tested the platform across various terrains, whether it's Spain, UK, India. And we're testing those well over a million kilometers and hundreds of motorcycles on roads, on test rigs, in part rigs. We test it indoors, we test it outdoors and ensure that bike is fit and it gives a customer delight. Yeah, there has been some, some good step changes along the way. One of the best parts about the job is, you know, you get to go out there and try and break everything. Try and make it do something wrong, so then we've got something to improve. That's, that's the sort of extremes we go to. It covers all bases of rider level and experience. The standout part is the, the chassis is just a, a really nice, fun motorcycle to ride. They're, they're powerful, they handle, they perform beautifully, but they're also very accessible, very easy. This is absolutely the most fun motorcycle in the entire world, and I've been riding a lot. To make a motorcycle, you know, go around a corner and put a smile on your face, you know, that is, that is something that, you know, you, you can do from an engineering perspective, you know, make it handle well, make it feel good, make it have good feedback from, from the road, and that, generally as a rider, puts a smile on your face, and I, I think this bike is a great, fun bike to ride.